Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about sine and cosine values for various angles when those angles appear on the unit circle. So take a look again at the unit circle. Remember a unit circle by definition is a circle of radius 1. So this is our x-axis and and this is 0 on the x-axis right there and this is 1 and the x-axis really extends on forever so this would be 2 and 3 and so on and of course the y-axis would extend on up in that direction and both axes would extend in the negative direction as well so we're really looking at this tiny region of the x-y plane that is entirely between negative 1 and positive 1 on the x and y axes now imagine some angle theta and remember we always start here on the unit circle and rotate in this direction so this angle theta corresponds to a certain movement around the unit circle or to a certain point on the unit circle at which we stop after rotating through that angle and that point has x and y coordinates let's look at a specific example suppose the angle is 36 degrees so we started here on the unit circle and we rotated around the unit circle through 36 degrees of rotation that gets us to this point and this point I'm telling you has these x and y coordinates since on the unit circle this is a x value of 0 and this is a x value of 1 from here to here it makes sense that this x coordinate would be a little bit less than 1 and the same with the y coordinate also less than 1 but now what I want you to do is look at this point and imagine drawing a line straight down like that so a right triangle is formed the x-axis this line and the hypotenuse or the radius of the unit circle form a right triangle and that would be true for any point around the unit circle and this triangle has a hypotenuse of 1 so now think about the sine of a 36 degree angle well for a right triangle sine is opposite over hypotenuse so the sine of the 36 degree angle is this length divided by the length of the hypotenuse which is 1 and this length here, the opposite side, is just the same as the y-coordinate, that point on the y-axis. So we can now see that, and you can write this down in the notes down here, it says we can now see that the sine of 36 degrees is equal to this length, which is 0.588, divided by this length which is 1 because we have a unit circle so 0.588 over 1 is obviously just 0.588 and we can also see that the cosine of 36 degrees will be this length the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse and the adjacent side here you can see that value right there 0.809 or you can see it right there so the cosine of 36 degrees is 0 0.809 over the hypotenuse which is 1 and 0 0.809 over 1 would just be written 0 0.809. Okay, now I want to use this diagram to make some comments about the sine and cosine ratios. And if you're looking at the printed notes on the page, the pages are going to turn fairly quickly at this point, and that's because there's a lot of diagrams on the page, on the pages that take up a lot of space. So you'll be turning pages a little faster than normal, but you shouldn't have trouble keeping up here. So imagine again this triangle formed by this point on the unit circle. So this point here defines this right triangle. And this we've got a 36 degree angle here, but it could be any angle. Now when we compute the sine of the angle, we think about the opposite side and the hypotenuse. And the sine ratio is always opposite over hypotenuse, but in this case, the the opposite side is equal to the y-coordinate of this point and the hypotenuse is equal to 1 because it's a unit circle. So the sine of the angle is simply the y-coordinate of this point. That's an important way to think about the sine of an angle. In, instead of thinking of it as opposite over hypotenuse, you can think of the sine of an angle as this, 36 degrees for example, rotate that far on the unit circle it gets you to a point the sine of that angle is the y-coordinate of that point 
So we see that there are really a few different ways that we can think about the sine of an angle. We can think of it in terms of a right triangle and the sine would be this length over this length opposite over hypotenuse or it could just be this length provided that the hypotenuse is 1 or you could think of the sine of this angle as the y coordinate of this point or as the y value of this point so that y value on the y axis and all of those ways of thinking about the sine of the angle will give us the same value and we can apply similar thinking to the cosine of the angle here's an angle again 36 degrees although it could be any angle and we have a right triangle and cosine by definition is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse that's one way we've defined the cosine of an angle well in this case the adjacent side that length is the same as the x-coordinate of this point and the hypotenuse here is 1 because it's a unit circle so the cosine of the angle is simply the x-coordinate of the point on the unit circle so instead of thinking of the cosine as adjacent over hypotenuse this is another way to think of the cosine which is also legitimate if we have an angle and we rotate that far on the unit circle that gets us to a certain point and the cosine of that angle is the x-coordinate of that point so we see that we have a few different ways to think about the cosine of an angle all of which give us the same result we can think of the cosine of an angle as the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse or it could simply be the length of the adjacent side provided that the hypotenuse is 1 or we could think of the cosine of this angle as the x-coordinate of this point after rotating through that many degrees starting in our standard position or we could think of it as that value on the x-axis and all of those ways of thinking about the cosine of the angle will give us the same value so we see then that we actually have two definitions for sine and cosine we have the right triangle definitions which say that the sine of angle theta is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse and the cosine of angle theta is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse and those are the right triangle definitions of sine and cosine and we also now have the unit circle definitions we can say that the sine of theta is the y coordinate that's the y coordinate if we start here in standard position and rotate through angle theta the sine of theta will be the y coordinate of that point and the cosine of theta is the x coordinate and a diagram such as this should make it apparent that those definitions are equivalent the sine of this angle is the opposite over 1 and so that length right there is the sine of angle theta so that's that y coordinate and the cosine of angle theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse which is 1 so that length right there is the cosine of theta the x coordinate of that point point. 